when you compare your vision at its worst to the saloon at its best, they'll be some million times better. And the ones you would fly to by the two against two commandments are a thousand times worse than the ones you'd fly from by leaving it, my friend, as it is. I may be crushed by it, but bow to it, I never will. Oh, this is because as many free countries have lost their liberty. America may lose hers. It's the best my proudest boast will be, not that I was the last in the it, but that I never did this. There's no neutral ground in this track. It's rare to the knife and knife to be hit. I absolutely refuse to vote for any man, for mayor, for governor, for representative, for senator, or for president, who ought to be and will not openly support the 18th Amendment for all other amendments, no matter what they need to do. Some said to me the other day, there is prohibition that uh, interferes with my personal liberty. Certainly, every law in the statute book interferes with the liberty of the cook that wants to break it. It doesn't interfere with my liberty because I say that. The shepherd tears the chief of wolf away from the throat of the chief for which the chief is thankful. And then the wolf complains against the shepherd to interfere with his personal liberty. So I said to me, there is prohibition that bootleggers and love runners. And the moonshiners, all we have two members of moonshiners, what we have hundred and fifty-five years of stars and stripes have reigned over America. Okay. We've had two members who have them now. Got the fellow wrote to a doctor and said, Dear doctor, I had a lot on my face and went a pound and a half. After taking four bottles of your medicine, my face is gone, but the Lord is there yet. <laughs> The blues are gone, the blues are gone, the blues are gone, but the bootlegger and the moon shine on the fence, he's very up in his face. I said to him, well, they don't keep them, we'll repeal it. All right, then repeal the 18th of the Ten Commandments. They don't keep the Ten Commandments. They lie, they steal, they commit a letter, they murder, and yet you know about the Ten Commandments, that do no civil thinking. You know that the sign of civil thinking rests on morals, morals rests on religion, religion rests on faith in God, and in Jesus.